Hello and welcome to part 2 of my September 2013 video game pickups. Uh, I'm going to carry on where I left off with uh, uh, two more PS2 games. Uh, they're kind of linked together so I'm going to show both. And that is uh, Call of Duty Finest Hour and Call of Duty Big Red, Red One. Um, I got these for a pound each in a cash converters which I was very happy with. Um, yeah, I, I I kind of um, neglected the uh, the World War Two sort of Call of Duty games. Um, I did really enjoy uh, Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor Frontline on the PS2. I thought that was absolutely fantastic for its time. Um, so I kind of I don't know. I kind of got the urge to sort of give like these um, older sort of World War Two Call of Duty games a try. I mean, I do I do love. Um, Call of Duty 4, I think that's absolutely fantastic game. I wasn't really, I'm not really keen on like any of the others of the sort of um, modern day like Call of Duty games. Um, but I thought I thought I'd go back and give these a go. And like for a pound each, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. Okay, and moving on with um, a DS game. Uh, this this was uh, actually the reason that I uh, bought a. Uh, Nintendo DS uh, Lite back in the day, and that is uh, Mario Kart DS. Now I sort of had like a thought about this um, whether to buy this game or get Mario Kart Seven, but I didn't really hear a lot of good things about Mario Kart Seven. Didn't really sort of change much other than the uh, the sort of power gliding sort of. Uh, the sort of power glider you have on the carts and stuff. Um, there wasn't really like a whole lot new, so I decided to sort of go back and um, to buy this. And it was only like uh, ten pounds, so I thought for that price, you know, because usually this goes around for at least like fifteen to twenty-five, you know, <laughs> so depending on where you look. So I was sort of really happy to uh, to grab this again. I, I absolutely love it. It's definitely one of my favourite Mario Kart games. Okay, and finally we got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Got got about eight uh, PS One games here. Starting off with uh, Resident Evil Three Nemesis. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't um, a big fan of this when it first came out because I was quite young at the time, and uh, the the sort of thought of the Nemesis scared the living shit out of me as a kid. Uh, and uh, it's a, it's actually a lot more challenging this game than the the other ones in the series. Like, I think a lot of people thought Resident Evil Two was quite easy, so I'm guessing this is why Capcom uh, decided to ramp up the difficulty a little bit with this one. It's kind of interesting. This is published by I Idos um, compared to like the other ones, which were <laughs> published by Virgin. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's a it's a it's a challenge, but it's it, it seems like a fair one. Um, will I will I have the nerve to um, actually go back and play it? I don't know, but um, for the price it was, I, I thought I'd at least give it a shot because I have played a lot of scary games uh, since then, like um, uh, Dead Space and uh, uh, Silent Hill and games like that. So um, yeah, who knows. Uh, next up, we have uh, Broken Sword 2. Uh, I got the original uh, last month, so I thought I would uh, track down the second one. The only annoying thing is that you it, it's best played with the mouse, and it's kind of hard to get the, uh, the PlayStation mouse because they're kind of hard to find, especially uh, boxed. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm content with playing with just the controller for now. So, um, but yeah, the the actual the story and the um, the graphics are just are just so just really impressive for it. You know, even even now, you know, just fantastic sort of artwork and um, uh, narrative. Uh, next up, we have Nightmare Creatures. Now this was uh, actually recommended to me uh, by a good friend of mine, 
who um who absolutely loved this game when he was younger. So um and I hear I hear a lot of good things about it as well from a, from uh from just like generally good like feedback and stuff like that. So um yeah, I'd thought I'd give it a go and um it was only um a couple of quid in uh in a, a charity shop, and uh, yeah, yeah, I, get, I haven't played it unfortunately, but um, yeah, it's another one that's on the uh, to playlist most definitely. Uh, next up is a uh, kind of an odd one because I wouldn't normally uh, try stuff out like this, but I was um, one of the one YouTuber I'm a big fan of is a, a guy called uh, Kadikarus, and he really enjoys. Uh, this game, and that's uh, Toy Story 2. And um, yeah, from what I've seen, it looks it's surprisingly um, well made for like a a licensed game. Uh, which was, I mean, I, I was sort of familiar with the Super Nintendo era, which had like great uh, licensed games. I thought after that, it kind of tailed off a bit. But um, seeing games like this, I'm sort of kind of happy that I'm proved wrong. Uh, so. Um, yeah, I was sort of happy to pick up for the sort of cheap price it was. So, uh, yeah, no one I can't wait to give, give a try. Uh, these next two were actually part of a bundle. And I managed to get these for like around £30 for both. They might, they might seem quite a lot, but um, when I show you, you know, you know, understand that there's quite a good deal. And that's uh, this world and this world too. Again, uh, like uh, Broken Sword, these are sort of point-and-click uh, adventure games. Um, you can also use the mouse for them. Uh, again, again, sort of best used with the mouse if you can. Um, and yeah, it's sort of very, it's very almost. Um, if you played like the Monkey Island games or um, uh, what was the other ones, uh, Toon Shark or uh, Day of the Tentacle, that's the one I was thinking of. Um, it's sort of that kind of um, comedy style, and um, but yeah, this is based in like um, a fantasy world where it's like um, it's it's almost like Harry Potter sort of rips stuff for this part of of these games off, where it's sort of um, you sort of like wizards and um, and things like that. Um, my knowledge isn't like too strong, but um, the people that I've uh, talked to who played this um, really enjoyed these uh, sort of adventure games. Uh, and I'm I myself am sort of a big fan of adventure games, as I've said in the past, um, of games like uh, Monkey Island and uh, Grim Fandango and things like that. So um, yeah, I was happy to sort of pay, you know, the sort of amount for like both of them. Uh, next up, we have Medieval. There's another one that uh, friends of mine have uh, talked, uh, said a lot of good things about. Um, and yeah, there's, there's sort of another one because I, I was never really into like the PS One as um, as much as I should have been. I sort of looked at um, friends who had like the N64 and was sort of really jealous at the time because. Um, the N64 is very um, the the best console to own for like multiplayer games, but I do feel that the PS1 um, is or was like at the time the best console to, console to own for single player games, and um, yeah, this is one that I sort of uh, slipped me by, and um, yeah, a lot of people love this game, and I can't wait to um, give it a go. I know there's a sequel as well, but um, I haven't found um, one for a decent price yet on eBay, but hopefully one day. And uh, finally, we have Legacy of Kane Soul Weaver. Now, now I um, did play uh, Blood Omen for a bit uh, back in the day, and this is, and that was like a top-down, almost like um, I guess almost like a Baldur's Gate like dungeon crawler in a way, uh, whereas this is more. Ironically, because it's made by Crystal Dy Dynamics, it's more like um, it's sort of like a Tomb Raider in a way, which is kind of funny because that's um, 
what Crystal Dynamics makes now. Um, but it's kind of got a um, dark sort of uh, story uh, with that. And uh, yeah, it's I've played it for about an hour or so and uh, really enjoy it. The only thing I don't like is the um, uh, warping to uh, different levels. I find that a little bit confusing. But um, other than that, the uh, controls are very tight. Um, the uh, combat's quite good. You know, it's got a lot of really interesting ideas. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd play this before I play the sequel on the PS2, which I also know also own um but yeah yes yeah, it seems like really a really good game okay and that's it for the um pickups video for uh, september 2013 uh, i hope you enjoyed it uh be sure to check out uh, this video and also um well, what you are checking out this video <laughs> what am i talking about uh be sure to uh stay tuned for uh, next month and uh yeah we'll uh, talk to you soon bye bye